Hello everyone and welcome to Sunroom. Now that it's summer, I, uh, I don't know if you guys know of the latest Lego Mindstorm thing. Uh, today our e-maker classes are actually going to be moving from uh, offline in person to online. But today we aren't here to push this class but actually we are here to share that from this year june ev3 mindstorms have updated their software version from their old type to their new education system uh, this year they changed everything to something related to scratch so if you have ever had experience with scratch now the new ev3 mindstorm software will be a little familiar to you now we're going to teach you besides how to download the software but we're going to actually do some introductory lessons now if you have the old version where you use blocks to write the software and programming this can work also for the ev3 mindstorms but in, in addition to this they have added the new scratch related software where now it is um different in in it has different ways to there are different ways to program it now we're going to jump into this and we're going to learn this new version of the ev3 lego mindstorms download now you're going to go to download ev3 mindstorming program and you will see https colon slash slash education dot lego dot com slash lego slash mindstorms and this is the new web page of ev3 of mindstorms it says e lego education on the top left and it will give you the option to download the ev3 classroom app now you will see the options for mac os windows 10 chromebook android or ipad and you can also see the system requirements here you will choose the correct uh, hardware as in or software as in mac way uh, mac OS or Windows 10 and then you will then download the installer now once you have pressed that the program will download itself and you already have this red icon with this new look this is the new Lego Mindstorms Education EV3 look and now you have some introductory pages now when you have a brick connected to your computer or device it will let you know if the brick is actually connected or disconnected now this space is in english depending on where you are but also there are different languages that you can choose from if you're not comfortable with english now you see this plus sign this is to allow you to create a new program page now from the top you will see a brick picture and it if it is red then it indicates that you do need to connect your brick and then it will teach you how to connect to the bluetooth function of the brick and if you don't want to then it is okay as you can see there are multiple multiple bricks here and it will show you the names of each brick now that it's blue you can see that it's actually connected to the bluetooth now we will start to write our program now you can see that all the motors connected to the bricks all the center sensors connected to the brick will give you their readings right next to the brick now it is very clear what is picking up what and what sensors are detecting things and what motors are moving now there are different colors of blocks or bricks and each things are different so the blue one is the motor bricks the pink ones are the uh, motor inputs 
the purple are the brick programs and then the light purple is actually sound yellow is the functions orange is the functions yellow is the sensors and also many others which you can also experiment yourself now we can go ahead and test the new programs first of all we are going to draw out a yellow start function which actually should already be in the page next of all you want to we want to experiment with the motors a bit so we take out the blue motor brick and you can see the indicated motor is a and what we want it to do is spin two times next we want it to go spin on the b motor and spin twice it's the same amount of rounds or circles that the motor is turning right after that let's try out the sound and we'll put it in between these two things and you can see when you click on the options it will give you a whole row and what we're doing is just to test if this works and so we will do two random things you can drag the bar on the right to see all your options and as you can see there are actually many to choose from now let's test out our D motor as we only have three motors connected to this right now as a, um, as our experiment we will choose the D motor and make it spin three times and then right after we have it do a brick function and it will play a note a sound note off of the piano now we can also let it choose what note and how long or how, what pitch you want it to be. Now we'll put it at 0 0.4. Actually, we can add a loop. This is exactly the same as uh, the loop we had before, but we don't have a condition for it right now. So when you play this, it will download into the brick and it will loop this program that we have in between the loop. Now, as you look on your right, if the brick is connected to the actual software, there is a stop button which you can press, which will stop the whole function and the whole program. And then there is a copy button as well as a cancel button and you can also go back onto your programs if you want to revert what you did earlier. Now when you pull out this new thing, we will see the motor movements and then actually this mo motor is the A and B things. Now we have a loop with different notes on the brick. So we have different sounds playing for a small amount of times and we have the loop set at two times so this whole program will play all the notes twice right after running the motor the dog bark or dog whine and then the uh, second motor function as you can see it'll run in a straight line so the first thing that will play is the thing on the very top and then the loop obviously makes it go uh, once all the way down and then repeats it twice as we have it set to loop two times now we download the function and then you can actually see that we played a little uh, twinkle twinkle little star as our tune. You can experiment with all of the keys and 
you can actually play around this and make your own little songs and it's very interesting okay so our introductory lesson for the new ev3 system is goes right up to here thank you for watching remember to subscribe press the like button press the bell everything all that good stuff and thanks for watching we'll see you next time